Hi, everybody. Well, today we're in Job, like we have been, and today we're in Job chapter 9, and um, chapter 9, verse 8, this one verse. He alone has spread out the heavens and marches on the waves of the sea. Huh. Now, I wonder how that might relate to Jesus. So let's go to um, Matthew chapter 14 and read where it says immediately after this, Jesus insisted that his disciples get back into the boat and cross the other side of the lake. And while he sent the people home, after sending them home, he went up into the hills by himself to pray. Night fell while he was there alone. Meanwhile, the disciples were in trouble far away from land, for a strong wind had risen, and they were fighting heavy waves. About three o'clock in the morning, Jesus came toward them, walking on the water. When the disciples saw him walking on the water, they were terrified. In fear, they cried out, It's a ghost! But Jesus spoke to them at once, Don't be afraid. He said, Take good take courage. I am here. And of course, Peter called to him, Lord, if it's really you, tell me to come to you walking on the water. Yeah, come, Jesus said. Peter went over to the side of the boat and walked on the water toward Jesus. But when he saw the strong wind and waves, he was terrified. He began to sink. Save me, Lord, he shouted. Jesus Jesus immediately reached out and grabbed him. So you have so little faith, Jesus said. Why did you doubt me? So we have Job saying, in a, he's an explanation to one of his friends. Was to try and, his friends are trying to give him explanations of why these terrible things are happening to him. And he says, well, you know, uh, God is in charge. And he said, and marches on the waves. And then we have Jesus in the New Testament actually marching on the waves on this lake where it was really uh, stirred up. Um, which, and then Peter, of course, trying to walk on the water, does for a while, and then uh, takes his eyes off of Christ and is looking at his surroundings. And there is the lesson for today, right there. That um, when crisis comes, as it is right now, we need to keep our eyes on Jesus and nothing else. Because um, that's how we keep our faith strong. That's how we uh, have peace with God. That's how we're able to do um, just function in a world that's so crazy. So keep your eyes on. And how do you do that? Well, you read. You're listening, doing it right now. Listening to God's word, uh, reading God's word, praying, going to church, uh, either remotely or in person. And, um, and just staying connected to people who are also Christians can uh, really help. So there it is. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Don't, uh, don't pay attention to the waves like, uh, uh, like Peter did. And be more like Job, at least in this part, where he's, he's keeping his eyes on God, even though terrible things are happening to him all around him. All right. God bless. Have a great day. And I'll see you tomorrow.